Welcome back to Ozarks Fox AM in this beautiful, slightly snowy morning. I see little flakes. Kelly. I see some little flakes coming down. A little precip right there. Isn't it pretty? Oh, it's, it's actually gorgeous, and I'm not <laughs> as cold. Although I did find Kelly just now. My toes are freezing. I'm gonna have are to put they? some of those foot warmers. I've on my got feet. double socks today. You're smart. I'm smart. It's yeah. Tuesday. It's not Tuesday. It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. Jeremy. I'm used to entertainment news. <laughs> I'm used to entertainment news on Tuesday, but Kaylee is here with yeah. entertainment news on Wednesday. Wednesday. It's my Tuesday because I was off Monday. Oh, that's oh, true. Okay. okay, that's why. We're going by my schedule yes. today. Okay. Yeah, what you got? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Which is not so. different from any other day, by the way. So everybody loves a good baby Yoda, right? Yeah. Well, now you get a lot of them. Plus, we're going to check in to see what your favorite celebrities are doing this holiday season. Take a look. In the spirit of the season, celebrities share with us their favorite holiday traditions and how they plan to spend the merriest time of the year. I truly am Saint Nick on, on the holidays. I put on a Santa suit and travel <laughs> the country because my family's all over the place. So from, I'm pretty sure I'll be in Aspen, I'll be in Haiti, I'll be in California. I'm going to be letting it rip. Um, I'm touring actually. <laughs> Disguised as the tree on Fox's The Masked Singer, actress comedian Anna Gasteyer is busy celebrating the release of her new album, Sugar and Booze, but she definitely plans to take part in some holiday traditions. White Christmas was written by Irving Berlin. You know, I always watch that movie, um, and I always watch It's a Wonderful Life. Right. For other celebs, Christmas Eve traditions are just as big a deal. Christmas Eve is, is, a, is a big deal. We really, really do it up. And, you know, it's very traditional. Buy the tree, Christmas carols, old school Christmas carols. Uh. Don't come at me with any, you know, Huey Lewis and his <laughs> Christmas carols or, you know, Cardi B under the Christmas tree. I'm not having it. <laughs> my favorite is watching my daughter because you relive, you know, you relive through your children the holidays. But I also love the baking because I'm Southern. Mm. We're trimming the tree. What? Some like to get a head start on the holiday season. My Christmas tree has to be up before Thanksgiving. And the lights have to be up the weekend after Thanksgiving. You are putting up tinsel, and you're going to eat cookies, and you're going to do it all while acting really, really festive. Merry Christmas to all. Some sad news out of Hollywood. The Fuller House is going to be a little less full. The cast of Netflix's Fuller House announced the loss of their golden retriever, Cosmo. Cosmo passed away after complications during surgery, with the show's cast sending their love to the pup who grew up on set Adding, quote, there will never be anything quite like our boy. Now back to lighter news where Allie Larder is pulling out the pom-poms for her next role. The actress will star in Fox's upcoming comedy series, The Sidelines, playing a single mom who becomes a pro football cheerleader. Put over your shoulder. Meanwhile, according to The Hollywood Reporter, actress Paula Patton will star as jazz icon Josephine Baker in an upcoming biopic based on the novel Josephine Baker's Last Dance. She's also on board to produce. And lastly, the only thing cuter than Baby Yoda is lots of Baby Yodas. Parents at the Maggie Women's Hospital in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, get to bring home their bundle of joy and adorable knit Yoda ears. These newborns are giving Baby Yoda a run for his money, each sporting the Mandalorian character's iconic long green ears with a Santa hat. The hats were hand-knitted by one of the hospital's nurses, who has previously made newborn ugly Christmas sweaters and outfits inspired by Mr. Rogers. You know, I can still see my breath, but that story really warms your heart. Oh, that was a good, I liked how you put that together, yeah. Uh, a little bit of backstory if you don't know anything about the baby Yoda craze. The Mandalorian, it's on Apple Plus. It's a show in the Star Wars era, and it has some clips of when Yoda was a little baby, and everyone thinks he's so cute. He is cute, I've seen him. All the plush toys have sold out, and they were fake ones because Disney didn't have some to begin with. So. Right. Um, the real I bet they'll change that real fast. Year. Yeah, probably. All babies mm -hmm. are cute, though, right? It reminds me of my favorite show growing up was The Muppet Babies. Oh, I love The Muppet Muppets Babies. Cute, but baby I just Muppets watched The Muppet uh, Christmas Carol the other day. It's really you good. You did? Cute, yeah. yeah. Um, also, uh, the celebrities getting yeah. ready for Christmas. Yeah. Yes. Um, kind of like all of us, you know, right. we like the Christmas music. I like the Christmas music, Christmas Eve and Christmas. That's it. Um, <laughs> what do you really feel, Kaylee? That's how I really feel. <laughs> I know. That's it. Period. That's End of story. Um, but I like those two movies that were mentioned too uh, by Anna, um, who who was. On oh, the Anna Gasteyer. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, she, it was like White Christmas and. I love White. That's my Christmasy tradition. White Christmas. White, White Christmas. Christmas? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. 
Also, Kaylee, you mentioned Fuller House in that. Uh -huh. yeah. I just finished the re most recent season of Fuller House. It just came out December 6th, and uh, Co Comet was on, the dog was on it, and he's adorable. Aww. But season five, part one has dropped. I finished it all, and it, I really enjoyed this final season. They're wrapping everything up really nicely, yeah. just so you know. I was never really a fan of the show. But the dog passed away, right? Yeah, the dog passed away. How old was the dog? I don't remember. Yeah, that's the thing. They don't live as long as we'd love them to. Yeah. Yeah, they yeah. can replace You them. did mention Anna Gasteyer, who was on The Masked Singer. Uh -huh. By the way, tonight is the finale okay. of The Masked Singer. Fox sent me a screener. I watched it yesterday. And? It is a really good finale. I cannot tell you anything you about happy? it. I can't say anything. All I'll say was be so prepared to know, be surprised. You yes. already know, oh, already know okay. who won. You're surprised. I know. I know who won. Okay. It, but it's a really good finale. It's, okay. It is action-packed. All right. It's really good. Mass Singer tonight on Fox. Very good. Did you, did you know that those people were in the mask? I can't say a word. I can't say a word, Kaylee. He's sworn to secrecy. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Kaylee. We'll be right back right after this. <laughs> I can't say a word. I'm going to get it out of you. I can't say a word.